after you ever would have a tablet. Do you want to play Genshin Impact, Cloud Mobile, and Mobile Legends with as little as zero budget at all? With the Elder Cube iPlay 50 for only 6,000 pesos, you can have it all. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Before I start this review, I want to thank Aldercube for sending this Aldercube iPlay 50 and this is their latest tablet. Now, Aldercube endorses this product as a tablet for multi-purposes, but let's find out in this video if it meets the expectations, so let's open this box. For a base price of 6,499 pesos, which may change and eventually go down with sales, this box is premium for the price. Oh, and by the way, I have reopened this box so I can give you a better view. But looking at this box, this really speaks premium quality, which is awesome for the price. I rarely see products being well packed and in this price range. So, this is a job well done by Aldo Q. The box is pure black with a touch of silver, and we see these geometrical patterns in the front side of the box. Flipping it, in the lower left corner we can see a little bit of information of Aldo Q. Beside are these scannable QR codes and the lower right side we can see this information of the device that we have here. Behind the front part of the box, we have this phone for protection. A huge 10.4 inch 2K IPS display tablet. And on the side is the charging brick and Type C cable. This charges max output is only 5 volts, so keep that in mind. The good thing is that the included Type C cable is thicker than usual, which speaks of durability. We also have a SIM ejector pin because this iPlay 50 has dual SIM 4G capabilities. This is like a tablet, free for the price of. Now, for the most exciting part, we have the Alucube iPlay 50. We've got a pre built screen protector, as you can see, it has slight scratches because we've already used this for a little while now. Regardless, having a pre built screen protector is such a bonus. By the way, I don't know if it's just me, but I think this is built of something premium. I don't know if this is metal or plastic feel, but it feels good in the hands. Especially the design is pretty angular, which follows the trend. In my opinion, this design is great for this is allowing more grip and better ergonomics. Now, we have the 5 megapixels front camera on the right side, which makes this suitable for landscape orientation best for video calls and or webinars. Let's lean or review more of the landscape orientation side of this tablet. Above is the SIM tray, this is supporting the Wilson 4G. Below is basically nothing. On the right side is the Type-C port, one speaker grill at the lower part and a headphone jack at the uppermost corner part. Moving on to the left side, we have the power button volume button and another speaker. Flipping this tablet, we can see this only camera which is 8 megapixels, good enough for documentations or school purposes. You can also see this line at the back which I believe is responsible for the 4G capabilities. Below is the Alucube Outlet 50 branding with stickers. Let us not forget the included case. It has the same transparent casing with a thick cover made with leather, which is in black. Below is an Alucu branding. By the way, I will be putting this tablet for the most part of this video in a case because I'm kind of careless. So yeah, this is such a bonus. Enough said. Let's test this out in real life. Commonly. Tablets are made for entertainment or casual purposes, so a 10.4 inch display is usually good enough for the price. Bezels are slim enough, not a hindrance at all. So, binge watching YouTube or Netflix and chill is such a pleasurable experience. The IPS 2K display is good, sharp, and crisp. 
This I play fit to get pretty bright, although the colors are not as saturated like an OLED one. But for the price, the screen output is excellent for me. For about 466 grams, this tablet is light enough to carry around. Now, ergonomics also plays its part, especially when handheld. The slim flat edge design of this tablet helps for better grip and comfort when using this one. Moving on to the speakers, we've got dual speakers of the size of this tablet, which is pretty loud but don't expect much because this isn't a speaker or a pretty costly iPad. But this is good enough for entertainment or casual purposes. Why don't you hear it for yourself? For the storage part of things, we have a 464 gig battery in here now. I know some of you might be thinking, but is it enough? If you're a gamer, I think it is not. But if you're not a gamer, then this 464 gig battery is more than enough. Especially in these days, a single mobile game is lasting or exceeding 20 gigs, which is pretty huge. So yeah, this is more like of a gamer's problem here. But here's the catch. This is highly expandable up to 2 terabytes of storage. With that, you can fit anything and everything to this Alder Cube iPlay 50. This Alder Cube iPlay 50 has a soft T618 optical chip with a Mali 52 graphics. So, playing with this is really based on my experience. Especially knowing that this is priced for only 6,000 pesos. Playing ML with this Alicube iPlay 50 can be bumped to ultra and refresh rate to high. The ML gameplay is awesome. I haven't experienced any lags or issues. Moving on to Codem, you can only set the graphic quality to medium. With the frame rate to high, as you can see, it can play well. Not bad for 6,000 pesos. Though I am more of a frame rate guy than a graphics quality one, so I prefer setting the graphics quality to low and setting the frame rate to high to have a smoother gameplay. Genshin Impact is where the Unisoft 618 and Mali G52 is meeting its limitations, for we can only have a good gaming performance when we set the quality to low. But keep in mind that this is only 6,000 pesos, so having a Unisoft 618 and Mali G52 is good enough for the price. This may not be the fastest tablet in the world, but it is not the slowest at all. This is even more capable than most tablets tablets and even smartphones in this price range so yeah I am still impressed that this thing can run Genshin Impact. The tablet was an even thermal throttling when I was gaming so I can say that though it gets pretty warm it's still comfy. I just love how Aldecube has done with the thermals with this Aldecube by Play 50. Dual SIM 4G capabilities is also convenient. I can easily switch the data when there is no Wi Fi access. Calling and texting is a good experience here. Moving on to the cameras, we've got a single shooter which is 5 megapixels in the fold one and 
and 8 megapixels in the back of this tablet. This is a phone camera, this is all the this is not one of those top specs on camera, it's on the phone, but this is good for video calls or video conferences. So, yes, this iPhone 15 is a thumbs up for me. The 8 megapixels back camera has this little bit of camera bump, but it can be solved with this leather case, so I think this is not an issue at all. I think this 8 megapixels back camera is good enough for documentation. But let's test this out in real life. Let's go! If I am not mistaken, I think that this Alicube i 50 runs Star 112. Now, I think that's the case because it has this clean and minimalistic UI which reads Android 12. Now, it has all Google services, by the way, if that's the question. By swiping down once, let me show you real quick. We get to see the notification panel again. By swiping down once, we get to see its notifications. By swiping down again, the control panel. Now on the far top part of this one, we can set the brightness to the lowest and to its highest. We have some useful features here, which first I'll show you. An extra dim, which dims the screen by tapping on it. Yes, as you can see, this is the extra dim. I don't know if that is blurry. Sorry if it blurs in the screen, but by tapping on this extra dim, the screen is even more dim. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but that's the purpose of that shooting feature. But we also have this reader on and off. When we tap this reader, everything on the screen is gray. As we can see, everything is gray. But tapping on it again, we set everything to colors. I think that reader is better for reading. And we also have this eye comfort, which is again good for reading, which makes everything on the screen more yellowish. So that's some useful features. By the way, I think Venture 12 with this one is pretty good and minimalistic. I think I pretty much like it. With 6000 mAh, battery life isn't a problem at all. Based on my experience, it lasts for a day or even two with casual usage. But that isn't your expectations when gaming. For any device, no matter what the size and price, will eventually drain faster because it will need to take all the processing powers, sucking up all the battery juice that is left. But for the price of 6000 pesos, battery life is good. For an SRP of 6,400 pesos for the base 464 gig model, I think that this Alicube Outplay 50 is good for the price. By the way, keep in mind that this can be bumped up for up to 6 128 gigs model for only 7,299 pesos. By the way, keep in mind that the price may even go down for a little bit or even more. So better stay tuned and follow Alicube's official store on their Lazada store so keep posted now let's get back to my verdict this is satisfying the screen is huge with its 1200 by 2000 screen resolution which is sharp crisp and it is pleasing to the eyes I also like the looks and premium feel of this iPlay 50 I think that this is premium in this aspect the Unisoft 618 is even more exciting 
for it delivers speed, power, and performance for a lower price tag. I can even play ML, Cardam, and even Genshin Impact. I recommend this to people looking for a budget-friendly tablet that can game, and also for the students, especially and productive people out there. So, if you want this, you can check it out in my link below. If you so much all enjoy this video, please leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell icon like for more of this content. This is Jen Sabala from Dreamland YT, and thank you for watching. Let's keep on dreaming!